Well, I'd like to introduce you to Ty Teager, who's our prop master Hi, nice and an integral part of our team with all the boys that we've got working here. Probably the best bunch of hooligans I've ever worked with in my life. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. You're a darling. <laughs> so, this is kind of our prop store. These came out of mainframe computers, which we'll either use as dressing or incorporate into something else. Um, and in fact, already we've sort of taken half of them and put them in the panels in Anakin's room. All of this will be things that will be used in the tattooing street in the markets for displaying fruit and vegetables or whatever the guys might be selling. And we've just let the boys have their head and yeah. say, look, you know, imagine that you're going to be selling something down in Covent Garden, but it's not, it's the Tatooine Street. I think these are gaskets, aren't they? Yeah, those are awesome. gaskets. Yeah. That's an aerial off a fighter aeroplane. Um, Held together with lots of very strong glue. Yep. Very strong, <laughs> believe it or not. I mean, the only way you can actually realise what you do is by getting the boys here to actually come up with ideas. What do you call it? Gizmo, techno, sort of looking sci-fi equipment, really. It's Boys in Paradise, really. Yes, yes, Doing all boys stuff. It's a boys film. It's a boys film. <laughs> Unless, of course, we were women, and then it would be <laughs> women doing a boys film. I feel like I'm in some guerrilla army <laughs> polishing guns. just like doing a sculpture. We'd have the base of the gun, and then we start to put things together like a jigsaw and say, well, that looks good on the top there. Uh, and all of a sudden, you've got a finished article. You know, when George comes over, we have everything nicely laid out, rather than saying, oh, there's a bit over here, George, there's a bit over there, there's a bit over there. Um, because he, he wants to be able to see it in its nicest possible way. Yeah, um, it's like having an exhibition every time he comes over. That's a very basically. good way of putting it, yeah. Attachment for when he fires the cable. So what we're thinking of doing is making these out of a cast, which actually fit onto the gun, which yeah. you can then take off the fire. Perfect. So that'll be on there, and then bang. These are actually castings of the, the real original, but I think they're, um, they're a gun that's held over like that. These are the, the machine guns, yeah, dummy machine guns. I mean, obviously they're making real shooting versions of these as well. There's a shot where they all pull the guns out of the holsters and put the rockets in the end like that. Bang. Binoculars. Very good, everybody looks so close. Uh -huh. Should be something nice. That was going to be the com link for the Jedi. No, that's good. Okay. Okay. We always a bit selfish. We'd like yes. as much stuff to be seen as possible. Yeah. And like the piece that you were spinning, yeah. I mean, that's a fabulous part. And maybe before they turn over, George will just have it spinning slightly. Um, and things like that almost build up, don't they? They might actually start on that and pull out and reveal everything else, you know. Well, thanks a lot. The story is the most important, not the props. And you've got to get used to that. But it is the actors that are the most important, obviously. Um, you know, we're just the background stuff, really. Well, as you can see, guys, that was a, <laughs> an amazing tense situation between me and George Lucas, and we did OK. Thank you very much. <laughs>